What's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Disabled. Hey, guys, I know it's been a while, and uh, I'd like to go out and get y'all a new DIY. So this is a pretty cool one that I saw online. So let me show you all kind of what we got going on here. All right, so first, you want to get some tools with you. So you want to get a pair of dikes, some needle nose, a couple old spent lighters that don't work no more. Ooh, that one had a little in it. And we're going to go ahead and use some LD's Quick Set Leader hooks. And uh, you can see the hook right there is perfect. And, um, this is a 18-inch flounder rig by LD's Quick Set Leaders. But it's got a 2-0 circle hook by Gamagatsu. For this one, I'm just going to pull it right out of the package. Just the top. I don't really need the whole thing out of it. Okay, we're going to set that one aside. We're going to actually use, on this one, we're going to use some catfish bubble gum. I love this stuff. It works really good. And uh, instead of using stink bait, for one, it doesn't stink. I can put my hands on it, and it won't make my whole office smell bad. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take and carefully use your needle nose pliers and get all of the, uh, the parts off of the top of the lighter. So we just bend that back. Now make sure your lighter is completely empty. You don't want to do this with one that's full. We'll take it and we'll pry it right here. Just pop it just like so. Take your thumb and kind of roll it out. Just like that. Okay, you set those pieces aside because you don't need those anymore. What we're going to use is this spring right here. And we'll take this and we'll put this aside as well. Pull this ring out. Now you notice there's a big difference between certain lighters. So the one that we're going to use today, and set this one aside, is the one from this lighter. So the first thing we want to do is take this and kind of stretch it out just a little bit. Then we're going to take our dikes, and we're just going to find a little spot right here, probably about a, you know, I'd say maybe about a half an inch in, and we're going to just cut it right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just take one of these springs. This one here has got a little crimp on the end of it, so let's just go with this one right here, since it's an open piece. I'm just going to slide it right here on the hook. Just like so. Just be careful not to poke yourself while you're doing this. If you see, if you just kind of twist it on like that, it should just go right on. Now, once you get it on there, it'll sit right up in here, that area. Now, you're going to take your little needle nose pliers, and right where you cut it, it's going to give it a little squeeze right there. Okay, so now that we have the spring on the hook, we're going to go ahead and get our catfish bubble gum. We just need a little chunk of it, no big deal. As you can see, this stuff has fine fur and stuff in it, which is really nice. And then we can go ahead and wrap that around the hook we're going to use right there, just like that. And there you go. So a little spring, a little piece of the spring from an old old lighter will actually help keep that bait on your hook while you're out fishing. So a little stink bait, a little catfish bubble gum, stay on the hook a little bit longer. So that's pretty cool. And as for this piece here, and the old spring from the other one, let's do a little something special with this. Just like that. Now let's do something fun with this. Okay, I know it's dark outside, so let's light it up. So we're gonna take that little piece right here and we're gonna just light it. Just like so. Try not to burn yourself with it if you are messing around with this. It is fire, it is hot. So I'm gonna caution, say do not try this at home. Heat it up till that flint gets red hot. <laughs> Happy New Year's, everybody.